So now for the fun part. Um, <laughs> um, Chef Patrick, he is our culinary expert. He graduated from Texas Culinary Academy and Johnson and Wales University. He has had internships in Italy and France. He has made eggs to order for 6,000 soldiers on United States Navy um, ships, right? Yes. That's right, <laughs> yep. Um, and uh, he's definitely a big part of our organization and the good things that we're doing in Pflugerville. So, here we go. Chef Patrick. All right, all right. Okay, hey, how you guys doing? Good. Okay, so I'm glad to be talking to adults today because most of the time it's the little guys, which I love, but it's very important to get everybody on board okay with what I'm doing. Guys, my demonstrations, I started about a couple years back, maybe, t I don't know, two, three years back. It was actually at a catch meeting, okay? Catch meetings go to, you guys brainstorm, you do fun activities, and it gets your mind really going, sort of like this juncture right here. Okay, and then I was like, what can we do in Pflugerville? We're doing all this stuff. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do? And then I was just like, duh, I'm a chef. Like, <laughs> go cook for the kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like pretty, pretty easy, okay? So this is how it works. So that, that was like the first step cool, we got an idea, let's go with it. And then I was like, man, how do I do this? So I had to go to like, because this is how it works with, with, in schools, from what I see, is there's a lot of testing, tax testing, right? And that's how they get their funding, I understand that. So everything is really structured, okay? This is what the kids are doing now, this is what they're doing now, this is what they're doing now, and it's all, to make sure that they get good uh, the tax test scores, which is, okay, whatever, cool. Okay, so where do, I, where do I come in? How do I fit into this equation? I have to interrupt their whole little system that they have in place. So I have to go to my principal that likes me the most, and I go in and I'm like, hey, how you doing, how you doing, da, da, da. I have this great idea. I wanna come in and I wanna, and this is how my demos work. It's gonna be as easy as possible for every school in Pflugerville. I walk in, this is what I got. I'm cooking for your students. It's gonna be free for you. And I'm gonna have a nutritional message. I'm gonna have cartoon characters. <laughs> and everybody's gonna get a sample, except for today, one of you lucky one's gonna get a big smoothie. And they get recipe cards and they get wristbands and they get all this fun stuff. And it's completely free. So let's do this. And there's a nutritional message. That's the biggest thing. And it's, we gotta have fun with these kids. Okay, that's the number one thing for me is I want you to know we're doing a lot of great things with the menu, as Lindley said, and we gotta keep evolving and keep this thing going, like Lindley said. So we gotta make sure that they know what these things are, hummus, that we put on the plate, and that's where I come in. Okay, guys, let's do this. What is hummus? Let's make it. Okay, let's taste it. Let's talk about it. And then when they go through the line, they can be like, hey, I know what hummus is. And then they can go home and they can say, hey, mom, here's a recipe. Let's make hummus. And before you know it, everybody's making hummus. <laughs> All right? And not only that, but the flip side too, business standpoint, right? Your meal participation goes up, okay? So I'm here to try to tell you guys, if, you're, if, if your school districts aren't doing something like this, it's not difficult, okay? If they want to know more about it, call me up, let me know, we'll talk. So I basically do cooking demonstrations from elementary kids middle schools, okay, I do like 20, 30 at a time, all the way up to a couple hundred at a time. And it, 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 it is what it is. I, I told you, you're about to see it in just a second. You're about to experience the Chef Patrick experience. <laughs> all right.
So let's do it. Without further ado, okay, like I said before, there's a good guy. This is a story. Okay, we have a story. We have a good guy. We have a bad guy. Okay. Without a bad guy, there would be no good guys. Okay? This is life. So our bad guy here, is, his name is Free Radical Raider. Okay, you guys know what free radicals are? Show of hands. Okay, if you don't, at the end of this, you'll know. <laughs> and you guys know what antioxidants are? I know the media uses antioxidants left and right these days. Okay, free radical raider. He's found in what kind of food? Anyone? Processed, exactly, junk food, trans fats. It's also found in pollution. So, kind of weird. All right, what does he do? He's this little particle, okay, in nature. He's missing some electrons, okay. He's unstable. He wants to be excited and happy like everyone else. So he gets into your body, and this is what he does. He's looking for these electrons. He sees your cells have all these electrons, okay. So he starts to take them from your cells. Okay, after many, 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 many years of doing this, basically, your cells start losing electrons and you're getting damaged, okay? So, your body is damaged after years of doing this, getting free radical radar into your body. So, in comes super antioxidant man. Where is he found? What kind of food? Vegetables, fruits and vegetables, the darker, the more antioxidants. So, when you're out there shopping, you guys, or with your kids, and you buy an orange that's really, really orange, or you buy an orange that's kind of not so orange, the orange orange is going to have be full of super antioxidant, man. And it's going to taste sweet, and it's going to taste good. Okay, when these parents go to the grocery store, and they don't really know how to pick fruits and vegetables, and they just grab whatever because they're in a hurry because they got to go, 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 right? I understand that. And then they go home and their kid opens this orange that's kind of white and he takes a bite and it, it tastes bad, right? Of course it tastes bad. It's not ripe. And then the kid's like, oranges are awful, <laughs> right? And then from then on, no more oranges for, for this guy. Okay, so that's why it's important. Not only because it's going to be ripe, it's going to be sweet, it's going to be juicy, but it's going to have more super antioxidant man in it and the kids are going to like it, all right? And that's what I'm teaching these kids. All right? So, free radical comes into your body. Everybody likes to eat junk food sometimes, fast food. I understand that. But to keep free radical radar from attacking you, you eat the fruits, you eat the vegetables. Super antioxidant man comes in. He's got extra electrons. Starts throwing them at free radical radar. Now free radical radar doesn't have to attack your cells. Therefore, you have healthier cells longer and longer, and you can jump and run and play a lot longer and be smarter in school, okay? And you can stay awake in class. All right, so there we go. What would you think? <laughs> Pretty good, right? Uh, all right, so one of you is going to taste a smoothie, but how am I going to decide which one of you gets the smoothie? <laughs> I'm going to ask a question based on the story I just talked to you about, and the first person to raise their hand and get to right that I call on, I'm going to make you a smoothie. All right? So this is the question. I don't even have a question. <laughs> OK. Guys, what, why is it important? What, what does super antioxidant man do? for you in your body when you eat fruits and vegetables? Yes. Yes. Nice. Ah. Exactly. There you go. Hey, guys, and I wanted to bring bio, guys, I want to bring biochemistry down to a fifth grade level. These kids can understand. And I understand some of these things like electrons and stuff to kids might not really understand, but oh well, I'm throwing it out there. If they catch it, they catch it. But they still can see the guy. They still know, all right? So here we go. You're about to get a smoothie. So this is how it works because you guys are a little too quiet right now. So 
Just like the kids, when I throw the banana in here, you guys are going to go, bam, one, two, three. Bam. Okay, all together, a little bit louder next time. Okay. One, two, three. Bam. There you go. We're going to put some strawberries in there. Bam. 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 There you go. Blueberries. These are one of, oh, I didn't put it in yet. These are, these, are, these are some of the highest antioxidant fruits out there. Okay, the darker the better, right? These are dark, so that's good. One, two, three. Bam. There you go. Apple juice, 100%. If it doesn't say 100%, don't get it. Shh. When I pour it, it kind of calms the kids down. <laughs> okay. Yogurt, this is blueberry. This is what, on, this is what was on sale. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Bam. One, two, three. Bam. Okay, it's also important for me to talk to the kids too about safety and just having fun, but yeah, being safe, washing your hands before you help your parents out, okay? Not only that, when I turn the blender on, make sure you shut it off and it stops completely before you take the lid off, okay? Because, because it, it, cooking is fun, but if you get hurt, then it's not fun anymore. All right, so on three, I'm going to turn this on, and you guys are going to go, Neow. okay, and then when I shut it off, you guys are going to shut it off. One, two, three. Neow. Okay, there it is. It's that easy. Five ingredients, right? How many of you guys make smoothies at home? Yes, how many of you guys put ice in your smoothies? Okay, why is that not good? Because you're making a fruit smoothie, you want it to taste like? Fruit. Not like water. ice, water, exactly. Okay, look at that, that looks good, all right? All the way to the top, perfect. Instead of using ice, go to, there you go, <laughs> on cue, you use frozen, frozen fruit, all right? If you don't like blueberries, don't use blueberries. If you don't like strawberries, you don't like, and when I do these demos, guys, there's a lot of kids, man, it's crazy, a lot of kids that are al allergic, have allergies to all these things that I'm putting in. So I'm like, oh my goodness, this kid's allergic to yogurt, this kid's allergic to strawberries, so on and so forth. But oh well, let's go, let's make it without it. Let's just keep it moving, okay? It's about having fun, all right? So there you go, smoothies. They get the, they get the recipe, okay, it's super easy. I have recipes outside for you, okay? Where do I do this at? I do this everywhere, guys. It's free. It's fun. I go to the community. It's extremely important for me to talk to parents, to talk to adults, because you guys are the one buying stuff for these kids, okay? And it's really cool when I see one of these kids come up to me and say, hey, we made smoothies last night. It was really great. And I'm like, man, that's awesome. Like, keep it going. You know, and I do stir-fry demos, I do quinoa demos, I do any kind of demo you can think of, all right? So, this is, a great, this is great for everybody, for the business, for the schools, for the kids, it's fun, okay? Who would not want to do this? Everybody needs to have some kind of health and wellness program where they're teaching the kids, not just changing the menus. It's easy just to change the menus and it's easy to feed the kids good food but you want the kids and the parents to know exactly what it is you're feeding and why they are eating it because it is doing certain things to their body, okay? There you go. Somebody needs a smoothie.